Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. Got a few articles I would like to discuss. Uh, the veteran investor Jim Rogers warns of worst market meltdown ever. Jim Rogers is the chairman of Rogers Holdings and reckons unprecedented amounts of debt will bring on the mother of all economic downturns. And a veteran investor Jim Rogers warns the next market meltdown will be the worst in my lifetime, quote, he states. He blames the unprecedented amounts of debt for the incoming crisis, and Rogers suggests gold and silver as a hedge, but he said that Bitcoin may go to zero. And the next article, Pantera, tells SEC its crypto fund has raised nearly $165 million and institutions and the well-heeled have poured millions of dollars into uh, Pantera Capital Fund, helping it more than double its size since it launched in 2018. Pantera Venture Fund 3 has received 164.7 million USD in private placements from just under 200 investors, according to a form defiling with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, on Friday. And that's nearly 60 million USD more than at the date of its last filing in 2019 and well over 93 million double what the fund had two years from when it first filed within the U.S. markets watchdog. The next article uh, which we had discussed as in Hester Pierce crypto mom had stated before the end of her term she would have a U.S. digital dollar. Now she's just starting her second term, and SEC Commissioner Pierce tells Coin Telegraph her crypto priorities. So being sworn in for five more years is big news for crypto since her initial term started in 2018. Commissioner Pierce's focus on token fundraisers and blockchain technology has earned her the moniker Crypto Mom. Coin Telegraph got to speak to Pierce on future plans as well as recent news from the SEC and especially the controversy surrounding the legal battle with Telegram. Commissioner Pierce uh, was cagey about identifying pressuring, pressing issues for the new term and indeed casually sidestepped a question about her priority list saying, I think it will be dictated by the chairman. Stated, I really believe that as regulators, we need to be drawing on the wisdom of people outside of the regulatory community. And that's, again, part of what I really like about this area, which is that people are coming and looking at our securities laws from a totally fresh and new perspective. And they make me think about things in ways that maybe I wouldn't have thought about just based on talking only to securities lawyers. She states also the, I don't think it's a good thing that people don't have a compliant way to get from point where they're funded and built a network to the point where they've gotten the tokens into the hands of people who want to use them. It's really important for people to have a way to get to the point where tokens are out there circulating. And on the next article, the China's blockchain boom moves forward with 10,000 new companies formed in 2020 states the report so again we're way beyond the part of is this here to stay is this a fad this is integrated into the system and this is going nowhere so consider yourself lucky as being one of the early investors and pioneers of this new financial industry and this new digital asset class and technology because this is a major deal that is life-changing and disrupting the entire financial world. A report from crypto analytics platform Longhash reveals that more than 10,000 blockchain companies were formed in China from January to July of 2020, exceeding the 8,595 recorded in 2017. The crypto data company says the number of newly established blockchain companies in China is set to surpass the 13,885 firms formed last year. And back into the discussion that we began at the beginning of the video of Bitcoin. The top Bitcoin mining pools see 15% hash rate drop amid continuous rainstorms in China. Major Chinese Bitcoin mining pools are each seeing daily hash rate drops of between 10% and 20% following continuous rainstorms in Sichuan, 
China's southwestern Sichuan province, a mountainous region that is estimated to have over 50% of the Bitcoin network's total computing power, has been hit by a heavy rainstorm since last week, which peaked over the last two days. And data from the BTC.com shows the world's top four Bitcoin mining pools, Pool in F2, Pool, BTC.com, and Antpool, all based in China, have each seen their hash rates drop between 10% and 20% over the last 24 hours. The computing power connected to these four pools accounts for about 50% of the Bitcoin network's total. Now imagine that you're in the financial industry and that happened to you while you're trying to use it as a currency. So you can see the challenges that Bitcoin is facing and it's not going to help its case as people expect it to be a reserve currency. I want to give a quick shout out to XRP Crypto Wolf. Thank you for the content. I'm going to leave you with a final thought. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. And again, this is not financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only. Much love to all of you, and we will catch you in the next one.